Hello everyone and welcome back to Unity of Command. This is the campaign scenario Kiev from the Red Turn DLC. November the 3rd, 1943. The failure of the attempts to break out of the Kanyev bridgehead made the Soviets turn their attention to establishing a substantial bridgehead north of Kiev and to try and take the city from the north before advancing towards G Zhitomir. Right. Um, <coughs> this is a weird scenario. Uh, what you're going to see is the second attempt. And uh, um, if you're going into it blind, then, <laughs> well, you're not going to win uh, with these conditions, you know. So brilliant victory and uh, no prestige spent. Because the scenario designer has set up a trap for us, uh, which is impossible, literally impossible to foresee. But at the same time, it's very easy to uh, defend against, to protect yourself against, once you know what's coming. So uh, I know this sounds a bit cryptic, but I'll explain it in a moment in clear terms. All right. Forces allocation. It's a small map with relatively small number of forces. Uh, we outnumber the, the Axis forces roughly two to one. And we get a <coughs> an air attack per turn. I think it's limited at two altogether, so it's not really uh, on each turn. But that doesn't matter. Um, once you know the correct strategy, this should actually be an easy uh, map, in my opinion. So this is all of it. It's really tiny. And actually, this is like the first map, or maybe it was the previous one, where we have so many forces that, it's that shuffling them about uh, becomes an issue and th that is going to be just uh, exacerbated in the future uh, we are going to possess a horde of units and sometimes they'll be uh, one of the reasons that that you know some difficulties arrives they clog up the the paths the roads the bridges etc uh, it's not that bad here we are obviously uh, going to go into an expanding uh, area so yeah it's not a problem Let's take a quick look at our objectives. There are six, uh, six, three objectives to hit. The first one is Kiev, the capital of the Ukrainian SSR and the largest Soviet city still in German hands. Right. Um, actually, it, the city itself has two uh, hexes. I mean, there are two city hexes on the map. And you will kind of have to capture all of both of them for your supply to, to run through because the supply connection to the I mean, the east-west supply connection goes through the other hex rather than the victory hex. It's held very lightly. It's an easy objective to hit. <coughs> All right. <laughs> we have two other uh, objectives. In the middle or a bit to the west, we have Zhitomir. Secure the bridgehead by capturing Zhitomir to prevent the Germans from recapturing Kiev. And to the north, in the extreme north, somewhat to the west, we have Korosten. Capture Korosten so that army groups south and central are no longer mutually supporting each other, I guess. Uh, both of these need to be captured by the end of turn 6. Um, right, let's take a look at supply. So, we have two supply sources. One uh, off-road with a range of 4, which actually starts here because of the bridge. So, it, uh, yeah, it actually advances a bit forward. I don't see the point of this one at all, really. Um, we also have uh, the one on the road, which has a range of 8, so basically uh, our supply is okay as long as we can secure the roads and you know the, the river connections, then we are fine. I, I mean, you shouldn't ever be worried about being cut off here. The only thing is that these two hexes are forest hexes and the supply line cuts through them, so um, <coughs> you might want to <coughs> capture them with maybe with some of your infantry units uh, after your uh, tank push has reached its goal. The AI axis, the AI have two supply sources. I I don't understand this one, to be honest. In the south, it has a range of eight, but it's yeah, officially, technically on road, but literally, the road literally cuts off immediately after this hex. So it, it, it might as well be an off-road hex. Um, we, they have another one in the west, uh, supplying the main supply line. So all of their forces also with a range of eight. You cannot I mean, at least until the, the end of this scenario, when it's kind of pointless, you cannot cu cu uh, cut them off. So, uh, again, the rule of thumb here is, I mean, we don't play around with supply on this match <coughs> map, in this match. Uh, you can obviously uh, encircle smaller pockets of units, if you wish. But uh, that's not really necessary, and yeah, it's just a waste of time. Let's take a look at the forces, and then you'll understand what's happening. 
So we have <coughs> altogether six uh, armored units, including this one, uh, motorized or mechanized core with a Katusha attached and seven steps. All of them have seven steps. Some of them are veteran. And yeah, a few have even have um, specialist steps. If you want, you can reallocate some more specialist steps from the infantry like this one. It's not that powerful, but you know, it's still something if you, if you assign it to this veteran uh, tank core. Um, we also have a bunch of infantry guns, which is awesome, which is very useful, especially in the beginning and, and in this uh, difficult terrain. So uh, basically, even at first glance, you can immediately see that we uh, heavily outnumber and outgun the opposition. And that's true. Almost none of these units are dug in, except for these two in the south, not that it matters much. Uh, the one holding the, the victory axe, which is admittedly on the other side of the river, it has two steps. And uh, um, I think the idea here is to, to attack this unit from the north, then from the northeast, because this unit is already on the western bank of the river. Then advance, destroy this unit uh, by any means necessary and just proceed. It's a very, very easy uh, uh, objective to hit the first one. Now, the other victory axes are, are held by decent infantry units, nothing special. And, of course, as usual, the AI has three um, <coughs> Panzer divisions. Two of them have four steps each. This is the best uh, unit uh, on the map, probably, maybe, I'm not sure. Definitely on the AI side, it's the best one. It's veteran four plus one steps. It, this two is, is decent. It also has uh, the 25th Panzer Division, which is green. And although it has six steps, this is a uh, relatively weak unit. Don't, don't send your infantry against it, but uh, your tanks will do fine, better than you'd expect. So you can just uh, you know, tear this one to pieces. Um, one final thing that we haven't talked about is the terrain. <coughs> um, the southern half of the map, or the southern th one third of the map is, is open terrain. And the northern one is actually very um, uh, disadvantageous for warfare. So there are a lot of forests, a few swamps, and <coughs> and you know, and there is a bridge, uh, river here as well with a bridge, thankfully intact. Um, this is not going to be a problem because you can immediately see that the 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 AI has so few units. It it will try to retreat somewhat partially, but it won't succeed. And you can destroy almost all of these units, basically all of these units in like two turns. <coughs> So then what's the, the catch or the challenge? Well, I'm glad you've asked. Um, <coughs> on turn either two or three, I'm not absolutely certain, the AI will receive a bunch of elite units here and it will spawn them on the map, rush them to the north and you will not, you will not capture uh, your objectives in time. They will actually perform a counterattack and they will be fairly successful at it. And um, and yeah, by the time you manage to take care of them, you will have lost too much time to, to win a brilliant victory here. So actually, your, one of your goals, one of your main objectives is to send the fast moving units, so any one of your tank units, here to the south, exactly, and capture all of these axes before the AI can spawn them. You can actually keep the, these units off the map. There is nowhere else the AI can spawn them. They, it cannot spawn them to the west. So uh, once you have cleared out these axes, then um, you know the reinforcements simply won't arrive and then this map becomes a pushover that's what i meant by saying that it's impossible to to win this map blind because going into it blind because in the first on the first try there is literally no way for you for you to know that this is going to happen and there is no reason for you whatsoever to to go this this far south uh, especially to rush this far south so, um, so yeah, you are going to be caught unawares and basically you will fail. But once you know this and once you know how to counteract it, then this map is a pushover. So let's see what happened. Uh, yeah, we are of course using our guns as usual to, to, um, to soften up the targets, even across the river. Th this is fine and I don't care that it, this retreated into a uh, city X. We send our potentially best unit to occupy the the the, the victory hex so that the AI doesn't even think about uh, counterattacking, you know, and trying anything funny. And as you can see, as you can already see, the AI's forces practically just melt immediately. Now we are not going to attack these units, which are either in forest, you know, they are they are in good terrain, the forest hex, and they're relatively healthy. Uh, 
instead we are going to um, just take up kind of defensive positions as you can see we didn't destroy we only destroyed like half of the units but that's fine uh, there is no way the 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 AI can contain us and we managed to break through managed to capture and hold this victory x and uh, yeah that's basically it let's see what the AI is going to do now oh and by the way why did I to answer your question why didn't I move this unit here well I actually I did move it but why didn't I move it further um, <coughs> on my first attempt uh, one of the the units one of the tank units was attacked and couldn't retreat so it got cornered and then it was destroyed and I wanted to avoid that I'd much rather have this one in reserve it's not I mean it's a great unit but we, we can still use it the next turn I mean the front line is literally three hexes away and uh, hopefully this way we can save one of our units all right turn one for the AI uh, as I've said, there's not much it can do. It's trying to contain this this breakthrough, which is not going to succeed. And yeah, and it's going to entrench the units, which is fine. And that was basically it. As you can see, this this containment is not very powerful. Uh, we can break through here, or we can just really at assault these units, especially the the uh, the the green Panzer division, which stands no chance against our better armored units. All right, turn two. Our only objective is to rush as far and as quickly to the south as possible. And as you can see, the the stronger Panzer division or the, the medium one, this is the strongest one. There is a green one and there is this one, which is veteran four steps, melts away at the touch of this unit, which is actually uh, a standard. So it doesn't have any, any great experience level, any experience level whatsoever. So, uh, um, Theoretically, it might be our best unit, but my point is that the, the AI has nothing that it can uh, throw against us. And we are already rushing here. I don't know if it was truly turn two that the AI wants to spawn and they can only spawn units here, or if it's turn three when we are going to make sure that all of these hexes are in our hands. But everything is fine. Actually, our supply almost reaches until then. And, and yeah, once we capture this city hex, then it will reach up until like this uh, forest hex and we'll all be perfectly fine. All right. Uh, now the name of the game is to, to cause casualties. There is not much danger here. And, and now I know exactly that, uh, <coughs> that we, are, we have two air attacks all together on this map, as far as I remember. And this is the best unit that the AI is going to have on this map. So let's use our air attack against it. It's in the open, so it receives no malice. And that was a great assault. It's time to destroy it. Well, it doesn't. That doesn't go off without any problems. But you know what I mean. Yep. Now it's overrun. It's been overrun, and uh, yep. We really want to capture this city hex. I know it's 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 not in a good. I mean, it's held decently, but uh, we are going to throw a few units at it um, because we want to secure our supply and we don't want to wait. This was horrible I'll admit it and we're going to lose quite a few steps but as you can see our victory is practically already uh, secure so um, so we'll be fine and I don't mind using a, a relatively weak unit to, to occupy the victory axe there is nothing really threatening it the only thing that theoretically could is this green panzer division which it won't and yeah and these uh, none of these units could could uh, attack it head on so this head on it has an infantry gun and it's in a <coughs> it's in a city axe so it's fine now let's try to rush ahead once again we don't uh, sold that unit in the forest which is fine and we receive actually a few steps as reinforcements which is which is also awesome i think this is all the reinforcements we get but i'm not sure right turn two for the ai it already at this moment it has five units it's not it's not going to re um, receive any more it received one step bringing this unit up to this core up corpse of Tai Lung Tse up to uh, seven steps which is awesome S very soon this is going to be its best unit on the battlefield but that's not going to stop it now uh, let's remove this green unit uh, it's not going to pose any threat but it it's it's a bit resilient so it's not going to cause any any uh, casualties but it took I, I thought we would destroy it more easily this unit is on a on an open hex now it's in the forest but it's far weaker so we remove it as well and yeah already on turn three we have um we have reached the <coughs> sorry <coughs> so already on turn three we have reached the first objective as you know it's uh or rather the second 
victory X. There is bad weather here, and you should expect weather to be a problem um, uh, from time to time because we are playing in November, uh, so the Rasputitsa can can hit you. So I opt not to assault the uh, the city, but we have th literally three further turns apart of after this one to capture these two city axes. Korostam might be a bit tricky or, or you know, difficult, but, but uh, Zhitomir is, is a pushover, so I'm not afraid. Now we definitely make sure that the I cannot spawn anything. And at this moment, I'm 100% certain, percent certain that we have won. We have made sure that those units, that uh, the reinforcement units that were the primary threat in this map could not be, could not be spawned. And yeah, and there is nothing opposing us really. Literally three units. We remove one of them now. Um, that's not even going to be a problem. Three uh, <coughs> as, um, artillery units or, you know, specialist steps can take care of it and anything will finish it off. It's in a clear hex, so it's not, it didn't even cause us any casualties. And our supply situation is also great. As you can see, it literally runs up until this point. As I've mentioned, we will have to clear out these two hexes, which are forest hexes, so that the roads connect up, but that's not going to be a problem. And <coughs> even though it's, this is a swamp here, uh, the supply should be fairly sufficient to reach up until Korostan. Uh, just since I don't need so many units, and just to make sure that there is no, nothing else coming up, I and decide to entrench this unit and reorganize the furthest unit what I what I believe was the furthest unit which was relatively weak here. That's it. Turn three for the axis. It can do literally nothing, so it didn't. Turn four. And now the weather is fine. Uh, actually it's there is there is a still a weather effect, but I decide not to wait anymore. So <coughs> let's capture Jitomin on this turn. That was actually better than than I was hoping. So that that's actually uh, agreeable. It resists because it's in the city and it has um, and it's entrenched, but now it's overrun. It didn't cause us any casualties whatsoever, and now we're in the city. We received further reinforce or actually reinforcements from the the previous reorganized unit. We give this uh, the infantry gun to the tank, to the veteran tank division, and it's fine. And we ref rush ahead to the um <coughs> towards the victory hex. So. At this moment, as you can see, our supply reaches, well, everywhere basically. And because we captured the road, and just to make sure that there, are, there is nothing tricky, you know, ch cheeky play coming up, we move here as well. This tank could not, uh, did not have enough move point points to capture the, the supply source, but it moved here, and I think it's going to be enough to cut this unit off from supply. The supply would have to wander all the way around here. I think it's going to be enough. Yep, it is enough. So what that means is that we could theoretically wait at the next turn and then on turn 6 this unit would be weaker and we could assault it but there is not really much point in waiting. Uh, we still have one air attack which whiffs, doesn't do anything. There is really not point much point to waiting. Uh, this is whatever remains of this unit the for its next turn is going to be weakened. And I was actually hoping we could, uh, <coughs> we could destroy it but we couldn't. Um, Nothing else could approach it, so all I'm doing is cleaning out the map. And at this moment, uh, we have captured all the, the both of the supply sources for the AI, and only this part remains. Actually, forget next turn to move <laughs> across the river and clear it out, but everything else will be totally cleared out. All right, we bring our tanks closer so that they can swap places with the the other uh, units in the front, and that goes that's this that goes uh, the same way for the infantry. The I won't be able to do literally anything because it cannot attack with this unit. Not that it would be a good idea anyway. And now it has two active steps, so let's destroy it. For uh, some reason, it's still actually pretty resilient. And now the city is in ruins, but with suppressed only suppressed steps, it's not going to hold us. So let's capture everything. Um, once again, I forgot to move this unit across one step, and it would have been uh, totally captured as well. So all four hexes would have been claimed. That's it. So. This is the scenario Kiev. As I've said, it's short, it's small, it's easy. The only, literally the only thing that you <coughs> have to do is to rush to this location and capture it as soon as possible. Once you do it, if you manage to do that before the AI spawns in its reinforcing units, then you have won. There is not much to it. So, um, 
that was it. I thank you all for watching. I hope you see. I hope to see you next time when we are going to uh, switch sides for one final time, and we are going to see a standalone map from the Axis side. Bye bye.